Amos Chow is a PhD candidate in biomedical engineering at the University of Michigan, but he's focused on much more than research these days. It's been a really long time since I talked to my dad. Reverend John San Chong Chow was ordered by a Chinese court to spend seven years behind bars, apparently in retaliation for his missionary work in neighboring Myanmar. John Chow's family, including his wife and younger son in North Carolina, and Amos, his eldest son in Michigan, argue that the pastor's sentence should be reduced in light of his decades of humanitarian work. He just has, happens to be someone who has a lot of talents and gifts for helping other people and decided to use that and use his life to that end. Amos Chow says his father not only is committed to doing good in the world, but also to making people laugh. Look no further than his name. San Chang means three talents. His self-described three talents are eating, sleeping, and he hasn't found out what the third is. John Chow's punishment comes as Beijing pursues a plan to align faiths more closely with the atheist ruling Communist Party's own doctrines. Analysts say the government views Christianity's rise there as a threat to its rule and may be using Chow as an example to intimidate growing movements. In regards to whether or not my dad has ever been approached by like the Chinese government or if our family had ever had a dialogue with them, the answer is uh, yes, all the time. The State Department says it's concerned about Chow's sentence and has urged China to release the pastor, a U.S. legal permanent resident, and that Chow will retire and return to his family in the U.S. once he's freed. I just want to see my dad released and um, freed of this charge um, for something that he is not guilty of. Amos Chow says he and his brother have long understood the dangers inherent in their father's work. Living in China um, as uh, American and like the son of a pastor in China kind of has some Im implied risk, I think, to it. Now, with the risk having become reality, John Chow's loved ones are pleading for mercy in hopes of seeing him again soon. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan.